amid the inky vastness of space, where stars are mere pinpricks of light against a sea of black, lies a world cloaked in ice and mystery. The desolate beauty of Callisto, a moon of Jupiter, beckons with secrets untold, its surface pockmarked by billions of years of cosmic history. As we hover above this distant moon, questions emerge. What secrets lie beneath its icy crust? Why has it remained so elusive in our quest for exploration? Callisto, the second largest moon of Jupiter, stands as one of the most intriguing objects in our solar system. Named after a nymph from Greek mythology, this celestial body captivates scientists and astronomers alike. With a diameter of 4,820 kilometers, Callisto is almost as large as the planet Mercury, yet it orbits far from the turbulent influence of Jupiter's powerful magnetosphere. This distance renders it a more stable candidate for exploration compared to its fellow Galilean moons, Io, Europa, and Ganymede. Yet despite its relative calm, reaching Callisto poses a formidable challenge. The importance of exploring Jupiter's moons extends beyond mere curiosity. These celestial bodies offer a window into the early solar system, preserving records of its formation and evolution. Callisto, with its heavily cratered surface, is a relic from this primordial past, potentially holding clues about the processes that shaped not only the moons of Jupiter, but also our own planet. The mysteries locked within its icy shell and underlying ocean could inform our understanding of planetary habitability, guiding future missions in the search for extraterrestrial life. Throughout this exploration, the theme of unveiling the unseen will weave through our journey. Callisto's surface, an ancient canvas of impacts, hints at the stories buried beneath its ice. This motif of revelation, of peeling back layers to discover hidden truths, will drive our narrative as we delve into the complexities of reaching and studying this distant moon. Embarking on a journey to Callisto is not merely a matter of distance, it involves navigating the harsh environment of space. The voyage to Jupiter's realm is fraught with challenges, from intense radiation belts to the vast expanse of interplanetary space. Spacecraft must be meticulously designed to withstand these conditions, ensuring the safety and functionality of the mission over potentially many years. The cold vacuum of space, micrometeoroid impacts, and the constant threat of radiation damage necessitate robust engineering solutions and rigorous testing. Callisto orbits Jupiter at a distance of approximately 1.88 million kilometers, placing it about 628 million kilometers from Earth. This immense distance translates into significant travel time and fuel requirements. Traditional chemical propulsion methods face limitations, prompting the need for advanced propulsion technologies. Concepts such as ion propulsion, nuclear thermal rockets, and even solar sails are being explored to make the journey more feasible. Each method comes with its own set of advantages and challenges, highlighting the innovative spirit required to overcome the vastness of space. While Callisto lies outside the most intense regions of Jupiter's radiation belts, the journey itself exposes spacecraft to harmful levels of radiation. The spacecraft must be equipped with protective shielding to safeguard sensitive electronics and scientific instruments. Radiation-hardened materials and advanced design techniques are essential to ensure mission longevity. Understanding and mitigating radiation risks is a critical aspect of mission planning, emphasizing the meticulous nature of interplanetary exploration. Callisto's surface is a landscape of extremes, dominated by ice and rock. The moon's heavily cratered terrain is a testament to its ancient history, with some impact craters dating back billions of years. Beneath this icy crust lies the possibility of a subsurface ocean kept liquid by the heat generated from tidal forces and radioactive decay. This potential ocean makes Callisto an intriguing candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. However, the thick ice presents a formidable barrier to exploration, requiring innovative technologies for penetration and study. Exploring Callisto demands cutting-edge technology. Landers and rovers designed to operate in extreme cold and low gravity, drilling mechanisms capable of piercing thick ice, and instruments for analyzing the subsurface environment are just a few of the technological marvels needed. Autonomous systems and artificial intelligence will play crucial roles in navigating and conducting scientific experiments, given the communication delays caused by the vast distance from Earth. The development and deployment of these technologies represent the pinnacle of human ingenuity, 
The discovery of a subsurface ocean on Callisto would be a monumental finding in the quest for life beyond Earth. Liquid water is a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it, and the ocean beneath Callisto's ice could harbor microbial life forms. Studying this environment would provide invaluable insights into the potential for life on other icy worlds, such as Europa or Enceladus. The presence of organic molecules, energy sources, and the right chemical conditions could make Callisto a key target in astrobiology. Our journey to Callisto is a testament to human curiosity and the drive to explore the unknown. Like a nature documentary unfolding before our eyes, each step towards this distant moon reveals new wonders and challenges. The stark beauty of its icy surface, the mysteries of its subsurface ocean, and the technological marvels required to reach it create a narrative of discovery that resonates with our innate desire to explore and understand our universe. In the boundless expanse of our solar system, a journey to Jupiter's moon Callisto invites us to imagine the unimaginable, a voyage across millions of kilometers of cold, silent space. Picture a spacecraft hurtling through the void, crossing the great distances that separate us from one of Jupiter's most enigmatic moons. The challenges are immense, but the potential rewards unraveling the secrets of Callisto make the pursuit irresistible. Callisto, orbiting Jupiter at an average distance of 1.88 million kilometers, is one of the outermost of the Galilean moons. From Earth, Callisto is an astonishing 628 million kilometers away. This vast separation represents not just a physical distance, but a monumental challenge in space travel. As we aim to extend our reach beyond Earth, understanding the logistics and obstacles of traveling to such distant destinations becomes crucial. The recurring theme of bridging the cosmic divide will anchor our exploration. This theme encapsulates the essence of overcoming immense distances, the passage of time, and the technological hurdles that stand between us and the distant worlds we yearn to explore. The distance from Earth to Callisto, approximately 628 million kilometers, represents one of the most significant challenges in space exploration. To put this in perspective, if Earth were the size of a marble, Callisto would be another marble located more than half a kilometer away. The enormity of this distance necessitates precise planning and advanced technology. Unlike missions to Mars, which are considered relatively close at about 225 million kilometers, the journey to Callisto requires crossing the vast reaches of the outer solar system. With current propulsion technologies, the journey to Callisto is a long-term commitment. Conventional chemical rockets, like those used in the Apollo missions, are not efficient for such distant travel. Spacecraft propelled by chemical rockets would take years to reach Callisto. For instance, the Galileo spacecraft, launched in 1989, took over six years to reach Jupiter, employing gravity assist maneuvers to gain speed. Using similar techniques, a mission to Callisto could take roughly six, eight years. Recent advancements in propulsion technology offer hope for reducing travel times. Ion propulsion systems, which use electric fields to accelerate ions and generate thrust, provide a more efficient alternative. NASA's Dawn spacecraft, which utilized ion propulsion, demonstrated the capability to travel long distances with minimal fuel. Applying this technology, a mission to Callisto could potentially shorten the travel time to around four, six years. However, even with these advancements, the duration remains significant, underscoring the need for robust mission planning and resource management. Fuel and propulsion. Ensuring a spacecraft has enough fuel for the journey, including maneuvers and adjustments, is paramount. Advanced propulsion technologies and efficient fuel usage are critical. Spacecraft durability. The spacecraft must be designed to withstand the harsh environment of space for extended periods. This includes protection against radiation, micrometeoroid impacts, and the thermal extremes of space. Communication delays. At such distances, communication between the spacecraft and Earth experiences significant delays. Signals take approximately 35, 52 minutes to travel one way, complicating real-time control and requiring advanced autonomous systems on the spacecraft. Radiation exposure. Prolonged exposure to cosmic radiation poses severe health risks to astronauts. Shielding techniques and possibly magnetic field generation systems are necessary to protect the crew. Bone and muscle. Degradation. Microgravity environments lead to bone density loss and muscle atrophy. 
Countermeasures such as resistance exercises and possibly artificial gravity systems are essential to maintain astronaut health. Life support systems. Reliable life support systems to provide air, water, and food over several years are critical. Recycling technologies and efficient resource management are key components. Isolation and confinement. The psychological effects of long-duration missions in confined spaces are profound. Maintaining mental health through communication with Earth Recreational activities and possibly virtual reality environments is crucial. Team dynamics. Ensuring harmonious relationships and effective teamwork among crew members is essential for mission success. Training in conflict resolution and team building exercises is part of the preparation. Engagement and exploration. As we envision the voyage to Callisto, the spirit of exploration and discovery drives us forward. The journey represents not just a physical traversal of space, but a profound leap in human capability and understanding. Each segment of the journey, from overcoming technical hurdles to ensuring the well-being of the crew, embodies the essence of bridging the cosmic divide. The allure of the unknown and the promise of new knowledge inspire us to push the boundaries of what is possible. Imagine a spacecraft, a marvel of human engineering, slicing through the cold vacuum of space, carrying the promise of discovery. This vessel is not just a machine, but a testament to our ingenuity and determination to explore the unknown. As it embarks on its journey to Callisto, one of Jupiter's distant moons, the complexities of its design and propulsion come into sharp focus, revealing the extraordinary efforts required to make this voyage possible. Designing a spacecraft capable of reaching Callisto involves overcoming immense technical challenges. The journey requires advanced propulsion systems, robust structural integrity, and sophisticated life support mechanisms. These elements must work in harmony to ensure a successful mission to one of the most intriguing moons in our solar system. Exploring Callisto with its potential subsurface ocean and ancient cratered surface offers invaluable scientific rewards but demands the pinnacle of aerospace engineering. The recurring theme of innovation at the edge will be woven throughout our exploration. This theme highlights the cutting-edge technologies and groundbreaking designs required to venture into deep space. Each step forward represents a leap into the unknown, pushing the boundaries of what humanity can achieve. Structural integrity, the spacecraft must withstand the stresses of launch, space travel, and potential landing. This includes handling vibrations, temperature extremes, and micrometeoroid impacts. Radiation protection, Jupiter's radiation environment is harsh. Although Callisto is outside the most intense radiation belts, the journey itself exposes the spacecraft to significant radiation. Shielding is crucial to protect both the spacecraft's electronics and potential crew. Autonomous systems. Due to the vast distance, communication delays necessitate autonomous systems capable of making real-time decisions. Advanced AI and machine learning algorithms will be essential for navigation, system management, and scientific operations. Life support systems. For crewed missions, reliable life support systems are vital. These systems must recycle air, water, and waste and provide food for the duration of the mission, which could last several years. Scientific instruments. The spacecraft must carry sophisticated instruments to study Callisto's surface, subsurface, and environment. This includes spectrometers, radar, cameras, and potentially drilling equipment to penetrate the icy crust. Chemical rockets. Traditional chemical propulsion remains a reliable option for initial launch and course corrections. However, for long-duration missions, their efficiency is limited by the high fuel consumption. Ion propulsion. Ion thrusters, like those used in NASA's Dawn mission, offer a more efficient alternative. They use electric fields to accelerate ions, providing continuous, low-thrust propulsion that is ideal for deep space missions. This technology can significantly reduce travel time and fuel requirements. Nuclear Thermal Propulsion, NTP. NTP systems use nuclear reactions to heat a propellant, such as hydrogen, which then expands and is expelled to produce thrust. This method offers a higher specific impulse compared to chemical rockets, potentially reducing travel time to Callisto. Solar Sails. Solar sails use the pressure of sunlight to generate thrust, offering a fuel-free propulsion method. While acceleration is slow over time, solar sails can achieve significant speeds, making them a viable option for deep space travel. Advanced electric propulsion. 
future concepts like magnetoplasma dynamic, MPD thrusters, and variable-specific impulse magnetoplasma rockets, VASIMAR, promise even greater efficiency and thrust, potentially revolutionizing deep space propulsion. Radiation. Hardening. Electronics and materials must be hardened against radiation to prevent degradation and ensure longevity. This involves using radiation-resistant materials and designing redundant systems. Thermal control. The spacecraft must maintain operational temperatures despite the extreme cold of deep space and the potential heat generated by onboard systems. Advanced thermal control systems, including radiators and heat pipes, are necessary. Structural integrity. The spacecraft must withstand launch forces, space travel stresses, and the impact of micrometeoroids. Materials such as titanium alloys, carbon composites, and advanced ceramics are used to ensure structural integrity. Efficiency. Power generation. The spacecraft requires a reliable power source. Solar panels are less effective at Jupiter's distance from the Sun, making nuclear power sources, such as radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, or nuclear reactors, more viable. Fuel efficiency. Efficient propulsion systems are critical to minimize fuel weight and maximize payload capacity. Advanced propulsion technologies, as previously discussed, are essential for this. Resource management. For crewed missions, managing life support resources efficiently is vital. Closed-loop life support systems that recycle air, water, and waste are crucial for long-duration missions. AI and machine learning. The spacecraft must operate autonomously for long periods, making real-time decisions without human intervention. AI and machine learning algorithms enable autonomous navigation, system diagnostics, and scientific data collection. Redundancy and reliability. Systems must be designed with redundancy to ensure reliability. Critical components need backup systems to handle failures without jeopardizing the mission. The journey to Callisto encapsulates the essence of human innovation and the spirit of exploration. Each design element, propulsion system, and technological advancement represents a step towards bridging the cosmic divide. As we overcome the challenges of space travel, we inch closer to unraveling the mysteries of this distant moon, driven by the allure of discovery and the promise of new knowledge. In the silent depths of space, where Jupiter looms as a colossal sentinel, a spacecraft navigates through a treacherous field of radiation and environmental hazards. This journey is not for the faint-hearted. The stakes are immense. The survival of the mission depends on overcoming the intense radiation belts of Jupiter and ensuring continuous communication with Earth over unimaginable distances. As we delve into these formidable challenges, we uncover the ingenuity and resilience required to bridge the gap between our home and the distant moon of Callisto. The journey to Callisto, one of Jupiter's intriguing moons, is fraught with dangers. The high levels of radiation in the Jupiter system pose significant risks to both spacecraft and human health. Moreover, navigating through space to reach Callisto and maintaining communication over the vast distances involved present their own set of daunting challenges. Understanding and mitigating these hazards is crucial for the success of any mission to this distant moon. The recurring theme of conquering the cosmic frontier will guide our exploration. This theme embodies the spirit of overcoming extreme environmental hazards and the technical difficulties of deep space navigation and communication. Each segment of our journey illustrates the relentless pursuit of knowledge and the innovative solutions designed to conquer these formidable obstacles. Jupiter's magnetosphere, the largest and most powerful in the solar system, generates intense radiation belts that pose severe challenges for any spacecraft entering its vicinity. These radiation belts, primarily composed of high-energy electrons and protons, extend millions of kilometers from the planet, enveloping its moons, including Callisto. The inner and outer radiation belts of Jupiter are teeming with charged particles trapped by the planet's magnetic field. The radiation levels within these belts are lethal to both spacecraft electronics and human health, necessitating robust shielding solutions. Impact Zones The region around Io, the closest of the Galilean moons, experiences the highest radiation levels. While Callisto orbits further out and experiences less intense radiation, the journey through the radiation belt still poses significant risks. Spacecraft Electronics Radiation can penetrate spacecraft shielding, causing ionization that disrupts electronic circuits, degrades materials, and potentially leads to system failures. 
sensitive instruments and communication systems are particularly vulnerable. Human health. For crewed missions, prolonged exposure to high radiation levels increases the risk of cancer, damages tissues and organs, and can lead to acute radiation sickness. Ensuring astronaut safety requires comprehensive radiation protection measures. Shielding. Spacecraft can be equipped with radiation shielding using materials such as lead, polyethylene, and water. These materials absorb and deflect harmful radiation, protecting both electronics and crew. Innovative designs, such as using the spacecraft's water supply as a radiation shield, are also being explored. Radiation-hardened electronics. Developing radiation-hardened components ensures that spacecraft electronics can withstand high radiation levels without malfunctioning. These components are tested rigorously to ensure reliability in extreme environments. Mission planning. Carefully planning the spacecraft's trajectory to minimize exposure to intense radiation belts can reduce risks. For example, avoiding prolonged stays in the most hazardous regions and timing maneuvers to take advantage of lower radiation periods. Active shielding. Future technologies may include active shielding methods such as generating magnetic fields around the spacecraft to deflect charged particles, mimicking Earth's natural protection against cosmic radiation. Trajectory planning. Precise calculations are needed to plot a trajectory that efficiently uses gravitational assists and minimizes fuel consumption. This involves complex orbital mechanics and constant adjustments to ensure the spacecraft remains on course. Gravitational assists. Utilizing gravitational assists from other celestial bodies, such as Earth, Venus, or Mars, can help increase the spacecraft's speed and alter its trajectory. These maneuvers require precise timing and coordination. Course corrections. During the long journey, the spacecraft will need to perform multiple course corrections to stay on track. These adjustments account for gravitational influences, potential hazards, and other variables that can affect the trajectory. Signal strength. As the distance between Earth and the spacecraft increases, the signal strength weakens, making it challenging to maintain a clear communication link. High-gain antennas and powerful transmitters are essential to ensure signal integrity. Deep Space Network, DSN. NASA's Deep Space Network, with its global array of large antennas, plays a crucial role in communicating with distant spacecraft. The DSN's capabilities are vital for sending commands and receiving data from the spacecraft. Data Transmission. Transmitting data over vast distances requires high bandwidth communication systems. Advances in laser communication technology offer the potential for faster and more efficient data transfer compared to traditional radio waves. Light speed delay. Radio signals travel at the speed of light, but even so, it takes approximately 35, 52 minutes for a signal to travel one way between Earth and Callisto. This delay poses challenges for real-time communication and control. Autonomous systems. Due to the communication delay, the spacecraft must operate autonomously for extended periods. Advanced autonomous systems enable the spacecraft to perform scientific experiments, navigate, and handle unexpected situations without immediate input from mission control. Pre-programmed commands. Many mission-critical operations must be pre-programmed and uploaded to the spacecraft in advance. These commands guide the spacecraft through key maneuvers and ensure the mission stays on track despite the communication delay. As we delve into the radiation and environmental hazards of the Jupiter system, along with the navigation and communication challenges, we uncover the relentless pursuit of knowledge that drives space exploration. Each innovation and solution represents a step towards conquering the cosmic frontier, pushing the boundaries of what is possible. The journey to Callisto is a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the unyielding desire to explore the unknown. As the spacecraft approaches Callisto, anticipation builds. This is no ordinary landing. It's a descent onto one of the oldest surfaces in the solar system, a frozen landscape dotted with craters that hold secrets of the cosmos. The complexities of landing on Callisto's rugged terrain are immense, but the potential scientific rewards make this endeavor irresistible. Picture the moment of touchdown where human ingenuity meets the ancient ice of this distant moon. Landing on Callisto, Jupiter's second largest moon, presents formidable challenges. 
from the technical difficulties of landing on its icy, heavily cratered surface to the engineering marvels required for landers and rovers to operate in such an environment, the journey is fraught with obstacles. Yet the scientific instruments and experiments designed for surface exploration promise to unlock invaluable knowledge about the Moon's history, composition, and potential for harboring life. The recurring theme of unlocking the frozen past will anchor our narrative. This theme reflects the mission's goal of uncovering the ancient secrets embedded in Callisto's icy crust, providing insights into the early solar system and the processes that shape these distant worlds. Rugged terrain. Callisto's surface is one of the most heavily cratered in the solar system, with impacts ranging from small pits to massive basins. This rugged landscape poses a challenge for finding a suitable landing site. Icy surface. The moon's surface is primarily composed of ice mixed with rock. The low temperatures make the ice extremely hard, complicating landing operations and the deployment of scientific instruments. Low gravity. Callisto's gravity is only about 12% of Earth's, making it difficult for landers to achieve stable contact with the surface and for rovers to maintain traction. Landing systems. The lander must be equipped with advanced guidance and navigation systems to identify and target suitable landing zones amidst the rugged terrain. Precision thrusters and landing legs designed to absorb impact are crucial. Thermal management. The extremely cold environment on Callisto requires robust thermal management systems to keep the lander's instruments and electronics at operational temperatures. Insulation, heaters and radiators are essential components. Mobility, rovers designed for Callisto must navigate the icy and uneven surface. This requires innovative mobility solutions, such as specialized wheels or tracks that can grip the ice and overcome obstacles. Power supply. Given the distance from the sun, solar power is less effective. Landers and rovers may need to rely on nuclear power sources, such as radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, to provide a steady and reliable energy supply. Communication. Direct communication with Earth is challenging due to the distance. The lander must be equipped with high-gain antennas and possibly relay satellites to ensure continuous data transmission. Spectrometers. Instruments like mass spectrometers and infrared spectrometers can analyze the composition of the surface ice and rock, identifying minerals and organic compounds. Seismometers. Placing seismometers on Callisto's surface can detect geological activity and provide insights into the Moon's internal structure, including the potential presence of a subsurface ocean. Drills and samplers. To probe beneath the icy surface, the lander can be equipped with drills and sampling tools. These instruments can extract samples from various depths, offering clues about the Moon's geological history and potential habitability. Cameras and imaging systems. High-resolution cameras and 3D imaging systems can capture detailed images of the landscape, helping scientists map the surface and study its features. Environmental sensors. Sensors to measure temperature, radiation levels and magnetic fields can provide data on the local environment, contributing to our understanding of the conditions on Callisto. The journey to Callisto is marked by a series of formidable technical challenges. From the vast distances and intense radiation of the Jupiter system to the complexities of spacecraft design, propulsion, and landing on a rugged, icy surface, each step of the mission requires cutting-edge technology and meticulous planning. Ensuring the spacecraft's durability, maintaining communication, and overcoming the harsh environmental conditions are critical hurdles that must be addressed. Propulsion systems. Continued development of efficient propulsion systems, such as ion thrusters and nuclear thermal propulsion, can reduce travel time and increase mission feasibility. Radiation shielding. Innovations in radiation protection, including advanced materials and active shielding methods, can safeguard spacecraft and crew. Autonomous systems. Enhancing autonomous navigation and decision-making capabilities will allow spacecraft to operate independently, managing complex tasks and adapting to unforeseen circumstances. Power generation. Improvements in nuclear power sources and energy-efficient systems will ensure reliable power for long-duration missions. Robust landing and mobility technologies. Developing landers and rovers with advanced landing systems, thermal management and mobility solutions will enable successful surface operations. The importance of continued exploration and research. 